Hello, welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. It is your Inner Peace on weekend. It is our meditation time and listen to wisdom talk again this week. I hope you enjoy and practice meditation regularly. And so everyone, how are you? Well, if you are doing okay, please let me know by telling me your name, your local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from, so I know uh, whether you are okay and get to know you better. So that way, <coughs> we can get to know each other too. And see, today I have prepared some surprise for you as well. And of course, all of this, what I mentioned is you should stay tuned after our session. I mean, after the meditation. And today, we, I have also prepared some good, interesting wisdom talk today, which is, today wisdom is grateful relationship. What is it about? And how would you help you improve your mind, your psychologist, and your meditation? Stay tuned after our meditation. And also, everyone, allow me to greet and introduce how we practice meditation here. But don't worry. If you are new, I will introduce. If you already practice your own method, you like to join, no problem. Because Inner Peace Sunday, it is a place and community for everyone who interest and like to meditate. Come join together, meditate at the same time on this day. And of course, we not just only meditate, we also share, we also share our wisdom to help improve our mind condition and maintain our peace and happiness. But anyway, what I'm about to present are nothing involved with religious matters, so therefore, you can rest assured you won't be converged or anything. And now, as for our meditation, <coughs> what we call is practice in here is called the middle way meditation. If you already know, well, you can just wait and uh, for a few minutes for our time be before we begin. But if you are new, pay attention because I'm about to teach. But anyway, before I go start, let's see who has joining us now. <coughs> Hello, Miss Kimmy from Japan. Good to see you. Well, I hope and expecting to see you in the beginning of our retreat on November. Hopefully, you are there. And yes, since we are a new team from uh, Thailand to go conducting a board retreat, so therefore, we have new organized new team. We just use the Tochingi as a venue or new location to help us uh, ar arrange or uh, organize the retreat. And of course, that's why the price is quite different than what you have uh, uh, normally understand. But hope to see you over there anyway. <coughs> Anyone else? Miss Sharon, good to see you from Quebec. Uh, Miss Donna, begin to be regular now, huh? I've seen you like four times now. That's good. Miss Patty, always there. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I can see you on Wednesday too. Uh, Miss Anne, good to see you. And Rita, there you are. And Mr. Paul, 12.30 a.m. Wow, you are very, really, very really late. But thank you for always there and joining us. Hopefully, we're going to have a good time. And stay tuned. Don't go to bed just yet. Grateful relationship may be helpful to you too. Mr. Shi, hmm, Brunei. All right. Everyone joining from Lago. All right there. It seems like everyone has coming. And well, the thing is, what we are practicing here in the middle way meditation may be quite simple. We are focusing just like any other meditation, which is focusing inside our body. And that is called the center of the body. Okay, Here it is where we are focusing. And yes, <coughs> as you may see here, we try and aim to bring our mind inside our body. But the thing is, our mind is just like the monkey. So therefore, it won't be easily to steal. So that's there are methods that we can provide to help you maintain your focus inside your meditation. One is called visualization. <coughs> the visualization I am mentioning here is, you see, you choose something simple that doesn't make you think. Something like um, here, the sun, the moon, a star, or the crystal ball. Choose one of your op of your own preference in and visualize them inside your body around your abdomen or anywhere that you feel comfortable to rest the mind and visualize. And this also <coughs> help you maintain your focus inside your body. 
But sometimes, if you have thought arise, which is common in meditation, don't worry. It happened to everyone, even I myself speaking. So therefore, you are not different. But once you have such a thought coming in, well, you can use this mantra to help calm down your mind. And they pronounce like this. <coughs> Sama Arahang. Are you following my rhythm? One more time. Sama Arahang. Like that. Yes. So you repeat this over and whenever the thought arises in your mind to help yourself be calm and clear away the thoughts that arise. In case you may be wonder what does it mean, it is an old ancient Indian language. Combine these two terms, they mean the path to purity and freedom from the negative thought. But all in all, in your meditation, what you need to concern most during meditation from the beginning until the end is your sabai feeling. Yes, today I have to provide you with the <coughs> Thai vocabulary. This means relaxed, comfortable feeling on both body and mind. So you must have this sabai sabai feeling at the end, from the beginning until the end. It is a formula for success. Let the mind be comfortable continuously. And when you be feel comfortable, you could feel like it's not too tight, not too loose. It's just right balance. If you have that kind of feeling when you're sitting, if you have that from the beginning, that's a good start. And also, another success formula that requires with Sabai is your awareness. You should be with the present. How do you know that you're with the present? You are being content when you are sitting, and you're just right there. Don't need to go any further. And that's these are what we practice for the middle way meditation. Very quick, right? In three minutes, introduction. Well, don't worry, you don't, hopefully you don't get confused, but just hang in there while maintain your relaxation and try to observe it. If you are doing it right, you only feel your mind, your awareness right there, but you don't feel your body. Everything is just so transparent, relaxed, and comfortable. If you can do that to the rest, that's a very good progress. Hopefully, we have a good inner peace time together, everyone. And besides, we are going to start our meditation today. If you are new, <coughs> don't forget to say hi, telling us your name, your local time, and don't leave just yet because after the session, we have our wisdom to share. And in the Peace Sunday now, I know just only what live meditation. It is now wisdom talk as well to help improve and be better in your life. So that way you can maintain your inner peace too, not just only through your meditation time. And now, however today it might not be as crowded as it is as I expect because uh, I'm sharing too much on our page. So the Facebook has blocked and limit our visibility on our Facebook new feed. So sometimes if you are not regular or joy or acting on the page regularly, sometimes the notification on live or what we share may not be shown to you. So therefore, it will be lifting, the band will be lifting on October 25th. Hopefully, it could get better. And thank God, it is good, better than uh, uh, maybe a month. Uh, I got, uh, I <coughs> also having been banned for two weeks or 10 days too. So that means uh, it's not only the first time that I experienced such an, uh, this kind of thing. So hopefully, we uh, also send a message to anyone who are joining and get to get our message. But anyway, the good news is that I like to prepare with uh, sharing with you is on November 2nd to November 4th of this year, we are going to have a retreat, mindfulness relaxation retreat in Tokyo, uh, in Tochigi, Japan. So if you are living in the area or like to travel abroad at that time, like to come join us. Well, you are also welcome to come join and where to, how to get sign up and how to register. What more information? Check on our page on Facebook and it has already pinned down on the top. So you will see how to, rec how to register and also how to um, get in there over there for more information. Anyway, hope to see you all there over there in, to in uh, Toshingi. But if you are not, don't worry. There will be another time in your country, hopefully in the future very soon. 
And so, everyone, I hope you are doing fine and be ready. So, therefore, if you are ready, give me some signal. We should be, be begin in about two or three minutes from now. And see who has uh, sharing this comment now. Mr. Shi and Miss Patti are ready. So, that means you are all good and set to go. Well, <coughs> I myself too. However, before we begin today, I'd like to produce to you uh, uh, something new today. So that way we can use it as always, as our way of increasing our wisdom today, which is new Thai word I'd like to teach you today. Earlier last week, we learned about sabai word, which means relaxed and comfortable, right? Today, <coughs> I'd like to propose to you new vocabulary that maybe we can use it at the end of our session every time. Today, new word is satu <coughs> or sadu. Can you pronounce that? Satu. Okay. <coughs> satu is mean good. Also rejoice in your good deed or merit. It is a way of showing appreciation or giving support to the doer of good deed. In other words, after the meditation at the end, instead of saying thank you everyone, we can try our Buddhist culture by saying satu. Rejoice in your merit before the end of our session. And so everyone, that's a new word for you today. So if I slip this kind of word out during our inner peace talk, so that means, this is what it means, it means good or rejoice in your merit. <coughs> and so now, there you go, you had learned something new. So are you ready everyone? If you are ready, we shall now begin our inner peace time. <coughs> Let's begin our inner peace time. <coughs> Close your eyes. Relax the mind and body. And adjusting yourself, sitting. <coughs> in a relaxed and comfortable position where you won't feel any tension on your body. <coughs> Relax very truly. Begin from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Loose your eyelids. Don't use your eyes or squeezing your eyes during the meditation. We relax the body by letting go, letting go is to forget that the body needs to function in all aspects. So we now living with more relaxed and idle body. We are soften the shoulder that are used to burden The entire face is soft as we breathe so deeply into our inside. 
the whole passage of the breath become warm. Now we feel the body through the long breathing. Feel the warm that travels with breath past the lung down into the abdomen. This is the passage of our breathing. Now we feel this idle body in a more depth of relaxing to relax the mind is to allow the mind to do less if the mind make a journey like a passenger attached to the breathing the breath is a vehicle that brings the mind to the destination that is the center of the body gently we could feel where the breath finally end deeply and deeply down the mind find its own way to land up on this center space and we just enjoy keeping the mind in this peaceful moment and mindful space just stay even for a short space of time each breathing is a gift it brings the mind back to a place of a bliss stay even though sometimes the mind doesn't stay but the awareness and warm and welcome feeling our mind finally will come and end is wandering so we have our mind well center the quality of centering doesn't always need long hour even we have a short break we can just have our mind back then we just rest the mind up on the center we just let this peacefulness happen and continue we prefer to have the mind very well centered and nurture within our body relax even further during this silence now we have the mind that is much slower if we maintain the state of silence the mind will come 
to a standstill. So we keep reminding of our own mind being soft inside the body center. It will enjoy the moment of stillness beside relaxation, meditation keeps the mind more than relaxation. Beyond relaxation, the mind gains inner peace. And this is the uniqueness of the practice of meditation. Take a good deep breath and breathing in to confirm the mind is still well centered. Absorb the volume of inner peace. For a short break, we can recharge the energy to our mind. The mind will be able to relax and absorbing this energy. It is the energy to enhance the power of the mind to cope with the coming day. So this short break will provide the mind with more energy. And if we are ready for longer silence, we can do more, half an hour or more. The mind that is still and connect will continue find its peace and enjoy the peacefulness within the center of our own. So let's take a few moments in silence finding ourselves in a peace for a little while.
your body and mind are balanced with one another. Let the enjoyment and peacefulness fill your mind. You can open your mind to all beings and learn to love more openly, freely, beginning with loving kindness for yourself, and then loving kindness for others. You become more open, relaxed, and balance, radiating this loving kindness from the center out to everyone in the room, to your families and friends, to all the people in the whole building, in the whole city, in the whole country, and the whole world, sharing loving kindness with them all, a feeling for them to be happier. The mind full of loving kindness will discover the way to work with others meaningfully, gently, happily, resolving whatever problems may arise. Let there be peace on earth, let there be world peace, true inner peace. Spend this few moments, spread our loving kindness.
Continue to relax and connect to the center after our meditation. Feel the peace and joy inside ourselves. Then slowly. And gently open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. How are you feeling? I hope you enjoy and. Finding yourself in a peace in our session today. So please allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who are regular, you may leave the comment. But those who are new, you may leave the comment as follow. If you are able to relax, leave the comment as one. If you feeling your body become disappear or transparent, so much relax. Leave the comment as to. If you experience brightness in your meditation, leave the comment as three. Anything else beyond what I mentioned, leave the comment as four. Explain once I see your comment. I'll get back to you. And thank you very much for sharing. So let's see who has sharing now. Ah, Mr. <coughs> Miss N, two, that's good. Mr. She, one. Miss Jerry, one and two. Mr. Kuma, one. Kimmy, two. That's a good meditation. Thank you. Ah, Miss Donna, three. One, two, three. Very good. Wow. Sharon, two. Wow, everyone has a good meditation today. Even though we are not crowded like we usual now, but still, it is a good quality, I guess. So it seems like everyone able to find the concept and how to maintain their inner peace through relaxation. So therefore, I must say, uh, well, just one moment, <coughs> so sorry. I must say, Satu, everyone. I rejoice in your merit. Satu, satu. Normally three times. So, satu, everyone. Rejoice in your merit. I hope you enjoy and like in a peace time together. Wow, Mr. Paul, brightness. That's very good. The thing is, <coughs> you see, when you are getting the concept, sometimes it is quite difficult to do this on our own. But if you join together, if you join together at the same time, it also helps us encourage and achieve inner peace much easier, let alone sitting together in one room. But if you join together like this, they also have a good result as well. So everyone, I hope you enjoy inner peace time together. And <coughs> now, Miss Patty, three amazing meditation. Just one moment. I felt like my spirit left my body and floating above the reality of this world in a place. The sea of total love and peace. The mind, when it finds peace, it will expand, and the love and joy will arise from that inner peace. And thus, if you're sharing this peace, it even feeling expanding further and further beyond any limit. So you can do like this every day. Your life 
even more peaceful and happier than it is now too. So keep continue practice Miss Patti, you'll be happy too. Mr. Aradey, <coughs> three, mm. good congratulations in Mongolia. I hope you have a peaceful and enjoy your uh, volunteer service over there. Yes, well, Miss Sherry, you made it and you won't miss anything. Good, but today, before we are gonna go further, <coughs> I must say, you are have done such a good job. The thing is, next time, try to continue and maintain this on your own too. Every time, even when you are open your eyes, see how it goes, that's your homework from now, okay? Because meditation, you can only just wait for the time to come close the eye and do the continue together like this. If you can do together, or do it alone even when you open your eyes, feel the center, feel relaxed and maintained. These can improve yourself even further when you close your eyes and sit. Okay? So keep that practice every day, even when you open your eyes. Now, as for our inner peace wisdom today, grateful relationship. Okay? What is it about? The thing is that sometimes when we live our lives, we forget about being appreciated, being grateful to ourselves and what happened around us. Today, a grateful relationship I'd like to share is why must the giver be grateful to the receiver? The thing is, you see, when we live our life normally, we forget. We're just living on and so on, live in the moment. We forget what we had done. And while giving, sometimes we just feel normal because it just do it like a routine. But if we think very fully, it can help and fill our mind to the positive way and be grateful to ourselves in every time, everywhere we go. So why should we, we receive? One, there are three reasons. One, we must be and we should be grateful to ourselves to be able to come this far at this point in life to be able to give and share with others. You see, sometimes when we give and share our whatever we have shared, whether it's our knowledge, our love, our kindness, we forget about ourselves. If we understand this, when we reflect back on our life, ooh, we come this far because we have more. We have more than enough that why we share, even though it's less we are still able to give. So that's, we, sh we are able to do this, come this far because our life we have be able to share, even though more or less, even though it's less, still it, it, it's not, it is enough that we can share. So therefore, appreciate this. So that's first thing to yourself when you are appreciate is yourself, okay? Second, to be able to be grateful to is be grateful to have the receiver in our life so that we are able to do such an act to share what we have with him or her. In other words, be grateful that they are there for us. Okay? They are in our life so that way we can share and give. Even if they are not long to stay with us. But still, we share with them. It is a good moment that we can feel in our mind so we can be grateful in this opportunity. And third reason is you should be to grateful to them because they make us happy of being a giver. This is something that we tend to forget. Forget that we are giving them, let them be happy be ourselves, be a giver, and we also be happy too. And by uh, showing that we are being giver, also making us more be become more happy, uh, okay? According to what I had read, when we are being happy or doing something good to others, the oxytocin in our brain, it will be, uh, the level will be increased. That's decrease the cortisol level in our brain that's making us more happy. And so if we are practice of sharing, it making us become more happier. Therefore become less stressed and we will more be happy. So 
Don't keep this to yourself when we are having enough. Share with everyone. The feeling of helping others in need are much more intense to our mind, making us feel even more happier. And therefore, if we are being the giver, we is even more happier. Thus, in conclusion, giving them we receive, filling them we are full. So that's everyone. Don't keep this to yourself. Whatever you have, whether it's your peace, your happiness, share them with, uh, sharing them. Whether it's through your speech, your ideas, your action, your body, sharing them, sharing our happiness is even more uh, happier for ourselves. So hopefully, when you understand this concept, be grateful to ourselves, be grateful to them. We can be more happier and be uh, at peace in our life. So thank you everyone for joining us our inner peace Sunday today. Hopefully we get more people seeing our page. Visibility has been blocked for a week. It's my fault for sharing too much too. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it's getting left. The band has been left, and hope to see you again in our next inner peace Sunday. And also, if you're in the area, don't forget to drop in and enjoy our. Mindfulness relaxation retreat in Japan. Thank you for seeing us uh, on this inner peace Sunday, and hopefully see you again on our next inner peace uh, online club. See you again later. <laughs>